Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do a normal bronze and a black shaded eye with a black liquid eyeliner flick. Um, it's usually, you can usually see it on celebrities like Eva Longoria or um, even, what's her name, Kim Kardashian and all those kind of celebrities and it's a really easy eye makeup technique to do and it's really good for going out, it's really effective. So I'll show you how to do it. Um, first what I get is, this is what I use here, it's a bourgeois, just a gold base. And I find that if you use a base over your whole lid, it's really easy for the shading, it's heaps easier to apply all the makeup. So I don't use a brush for the, the base, I just use my fingertip. And what I do is I put it over my whole lid and go up above the lid just a little bit, just to add a gold effect. And I've done my eyebrows beforehand, I've made them really dark, because the darker your eyebrows, I think the more stand out your eyes look. Now, I put that hole, I might put that a little bit more, just to the edge, try to come out just a little bit, just so you can see it on the side. So I've got that on there. And now what I use here is a bourgeois, just a black. Now it's a sparkly black. I'd say sparkly. You can use matte if you like, but it depends what kind of base you're using. I'm using sparkly everything. It just looks prettier. Now what I use for this one is just a smudge brush. It's really small and really hard, and I find that, even though it's for smudging, I find that it's really, really good for getting in that crease there. So what I do is I get in the crease as much as possible, and then I bring it out into like circular motion. Trying to bring it out. The more you bring it out, the bigger it makes your eye look. So just bring it out like that. And then blend it inwards. And then what I do is I get my finger. And just blend, blend, blend. Until it looks like that. Yeah. And keep blending. And then what, once I've got the dark circle there, I sometimes add a little bit more gold, just the original, the first one, just to blend it in just a little bit. Depends how dramatic you want to look. If you're going out, you can just go all black or a little bit of gold and mostly black. Depends how, I don't know, how standout-ish you want to go. Now what I do then is I've got this little gold palette, this metallic gold palette. And I use a yellowy gold. I don't know if the lighting is good enough in here, but it's a yellowy gold. And I just put it in the center of the eye just to blend the, the base color and the black together. And having a lighter color in the middle of your eye makes your actual eyelid look bigger. And I find that it just draws more attention to your eye and it makes the darker, the shading on the side look darker. Now, yeah. this is a really quick technique also, so if you're in a rush, this is what I always do if I'm going out or even to work or something like that. So now I get, like this one's a bourgeois one again, it's just a white, and I use this little brush like this, and I put it in the corner of my eye, just to lighten the corner and to bring attention to it, and it just contrasts with the dark colours, and I also put it underneath the eyebrow. Blend it in, just to make it more under there, just to make it look really sparkly and really shiny and look pretty, yeah, that looks good. And now what I use is a liquid eyeliner. I got this one from Sports Girl for any Australian viewers. It's to the point liquid eyeliner and it's my favourite eyeliner. It's really it's got a really hard point, if you can see that, so it's really easy to do. Now, I'll see if I can do my eyeliner in the in the computer. It's quite hard. I start from the corner of the eye and go out. If you're not good with liquid eyeliner, you can always use pencil. But I find that liquid eyeliner is heaps more
dramatic. It just looks nicer and it looks neater. Yeah, so just bring it all to the end. And then if you want to, what I do is I bring it out into a flip. And then go back over. Then just compare to make sure they look the same because you want your flicks on the same angle if possible. So I go over it again just to straighten everything up. And you can do it on the bottom lid if you want as well, just down the bottom here. But I always like liquid oil on the top and nothing on the bottom. You can always do like use the smudge brush and put a little bit, little bit of black smudging on the bottom if you want them even more effective. But I really like the look of just liquid eyeliner on the top and nothing on the bottom. Looks a bit more classy, I think. Now I'm just using just a basic mascara. And I put lots and lots of this on because you want it to look really effective and you want a really dark look. The mascara really makes it and it looks really, really good with the liquid eyeliner. I'm just putting that on there and on the bottom as well. Yeah, I think that's it. So I'm trying to show you in the light if you can see. It's a really nice look for if you're going out and you want to do something really quickly, it's just three colours and it's really quick and you can use your fingers because I find that your fingers blend everything more because of the heat and the oil on your fingers. But if you can see that, I think that looks really, really nice. Yeah, so thank you for watching.